Welcome to How to Cook That. I'm Anne Reardon and today after lots of requests we're going to make a shopkins cake and the one we're going to make is Merry Wishes and we're going to make a giant cupcake one of these little cuties. To make this cake you will need flour, sugar, margarine, salt, baking powder, three eggs, oil and milk. And I'll put all the recipe quantities on the howtocookthat.net website and I'll link to that below for you. Place the flour, sugar, salt and baking powder and margarine into a bowl and then place that to one side. Then to your milk, add in the oil and the eggs. Whisk them together with the beaters until they are well combined. Then using the same beaters, mix together the margarine and the flour. Now you could use a packet cake mix for this if you don't want to start from scratch, or you can use this recipe. Keep going until that looks like breadcrumbs like this. Then add in about one third of your liquid and mix that together. Once that is combined, add another third and mix that then add the rest of the liquid and mix it through until all that liquid is mixed through evenly and the mixture looks smooth. Spray a silicon cupcake mould with cooking oil and then add in your cake batter. And I'll link to the mould that I have here below. And even those up a bit so the mixture is about up to the same amount on each one. Now it doesn't matter when we bake these if they don't come right to the top because we're going to be filling them anyway. Place those on a tray and bake them in the oven for about 15 minutes. Once they are cooked all the way through, you want to tip them out of the mould and leave those to cool. For the frosting today, I'm making one and a half times my orange buttercream recipe and adding to that some chopped up milk chocolate. And again, I'll put all of these recipes on the website. We have videos showing how to make those if you're not sure. For the lid, melt some blue candy melts and spread them over the inside of the cupcake mould, making sure you get it all the way to the top edge. Do the same with the base, but this time using purple. Now you can use chocolate for this instead of candy melts and just colour it with oil-based food colouring instead. Cut the cake into layers. I'm doing three layers for the lid and the base and then line the lid with an even layer of frosting. Place the smallest layer of cake down the bottom and brush it with orange flavored simple syrup. For the simple syrup, I made this using equal amounts of orange juice and sugar and the rind of half an orange and just heating that in the microwave till the sugar's dissolved and then straining it and letting it cool. And it just gives the cake a nice orange flavor and a moistness all the way through. Top that with your final layer of cake, syrup and frosting and then repeat that with the base of the cupcake as well. For the eyes, roll out some white fondant and cut out two circles. Then cut two smaller circles of black and using a little bit of water attach them to one side of the white. Then use a straw to cut a tiny circle of white and add it on top of the black, positioning them in the same place on each eye. Roll a thick snake of blue and then cut it to size for the candle. Now cut it a bit bigger than you think it will need to be because we can always shorten it later. Then roll a ball of yellow and use your hand to roll it on one side to make a long teardrop shape and then bend it over a little at the top and add it to the candle. For the base of the cupcake, loosen the mold from around the top and then place it on a cup and carefully bend down that silicon and keep pulling it all the way down and then lift off the cupcake. Place that onto a cake stand and add the eyes, making sure the white dot is facing the same direction so she doesn't look cross-eyed. Roll a tiny snake of black and cut it into equal sections and then roll it again to taper it out on the ends and cut each of those in half. Then add them like eyelashes around the eye with one on the top and two at the bottom. For the lips, roll a ball of pink and flatten it slightly 
and then pinch it at the base to make like a triangle shape and then use your finger to round it out a bit at the bottom and then add those lips onto the cupcake. For her feet, roll a ball of purple and cut it into two. Flatten each one slightly and then add it to the base of the cupcake just under the lips. In her hands, she's holding a present and a card. So we'll cut those out of blue fondant, just cutting like a square shape for the present and a flat rectangle for the card. Then roll a thick snake of purple and cut that in two for her two arms. Using some water to make it stick, add the present to the side of the cupcake and then place one of the arms over the top. For the other side, make a cut for where her hand is so she can hold the card and just place that card in the gap and then add that to the side of the cupcake. Then roll a tiny ball of purple and add that into place for her nose. Tip the top of the cupcake upside down on some baking paper and peel off that mold. Then spray that on one side with some pink food color or you could use pink luster dust and just brush that on with a dry paintbrush. Add the candle to one side and then add the top of the cupcake on top of the base, positioning it so the top slightly overlaps the base on all sides. Subscribe to How To Cook That for more cakes, chocolates and desserts. Click here for the recipe, here for my YouTube channel and here for last week's Freak Shake recipe. Make it a great week and I'll see you on Friday.